and it's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday! I've got such a fun video today. We're going to be talking about candle holders, but first, um, snow. <laughs> so I've been reading all the comments, and I think all of us on the East Coast somewhere, I'm in Ohio, kind of Midwest, everybody's getting snow, and everybody's getting a lot of snow, and that darn groundhog, I think, said six more weeks of winter. Um, I think that's what Puxitani Phil said. I, I don't really know why we listen to a groundhog in terms of weather. <laughs> I'm going to look up the history of Groundhog Day, but um, I, I, I'm kind of upset that winter appears to be dragging on, and we're supposed to be getting a, a polar vortex next week, which means really cold temperatures, so I'm just going to hide in my house. That's that's like my plan, um, but I'm going to bring you a little bit of spring today, because I'm, I'm going to talk about spring candle holders from Bath and Body Works, but before I talk about that, oh my goodness, so my best friend sent me these for my birthday. Are these not adorable? They're spring gnomes. How cute are these little guys? One's got a little bee on its head. They've got a flower. Um, they were from an Etsy store called the Lucky Cicada. Oh my gosh. Just look up um, spring gnomes if you, if you want to go on Etsy and you'll find her. But I'm like, holy moly, these things are adorable. So I was super happy to add a little bit of spring to my life with these gnomes. But, um, oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> spring candle holders, we have to talk about them. What are my bangs doing today? I think I need to trim my bangs. They're starting to get a little long. Um, so Bath and Body Works released a whole bunch of new candle holders um, today, and I want to talk about them. So I have a love-hate relationship with pedestals and candle holders, because you can only have so many. Um, cause they take up a lot of room. I mean, if you've got like a nice, like, um, bookcase or something where you put the pedestals on, they're very useful cause then you can stagger your candles. Um, but if you have too many of them, then they just become, you know, something else you got to store. So I, I kind of go back and forth. I have, however, lately been getting really into, um, the, the snow globes. So I bought this one for Christmas. Oddly enough, I'm not even like displaying this one now, but I could because this really isn't Christmas. <laughs> this is basically just a snowman and it's snowing outside. So I'm like, I don't know why I don't keep my snowman up. I'm actually thinking of maybe putting this in the living room, but I'm like, I have a lot of flowery stuff in there. So I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, this one I think is the most gorgeous snow globe um, that I had for Bath and Body Works. I also got the, um, the bat one. So I'm really loving these snow globes. I'm thinking of getting a couple more of these if they come out. Um, actually, this one, I didn't even have a candle on it. I was just displaying this on a bookshelf that was too low to even put the candle on. But I really like that one. Um, I'm also a fan of the pedestals from Bath & Body Works because I like to kind of stagger my candles. So these are really nice. So you can have like a candle and then the smaller pedestal. I have one up there, actually. I didn't bring it down. And then you can kind of create a cute little display. Um, I like this one around Halloween in the fall because it's black. I like the white ones in the um, in the spring and summer. So I am a fan of the pedestals. So then we have the candle holders from Bath and Body Works. And this one is gorgeous. I'll have to say I got this one for free with my app rewards because you can get something for $16.50 and under. And this was $15.95. One of the reasons, though, that I don't like a candle holder is it really masks the beauty of the candle. Um, now, I did find that these new um, spring candles, this is actually the Southern Magnolia, do look pretty nice in, like, this butterfly candle holder because you can still see the pink through. And I think this actually, I think I found the perfect candle for this butterfly candle holder. Cause usually I can't, cause I'm like the, the lettering shows through and I'm like, I don't like that. But, um, I'm actually considering maybe getting another one of these butterflies and displaying these, um, for Easter with like the yellow and, um, the purple one. So I'm like, is it the purple? Which one did I get? Um, no, I've got, uh, yellow, green, and um, pink. Those are my Easter colors from yesterday with these candles. Because I'm like, if I got three of these even, that would look really cute. I don't know. So I'm, I'm kind of sold on the butterfly one. And it's got kind of like a holographic um, kind of pattern going on. So this one I really like. Um, 
the other ones that they have coming out for spring, I've been kind of watching these. The one that everyone is just like perplexed about is this. I'm going to put a screenshot up right here, you guys. This is the ceramic face. And I actually saw this in the store. I think what they were trying to go for was like a peaceful Zen garden look, which I think this could work if you had like, um, you know, like a patio or something. It looks like an outdoor candle holder. Um, it is a little odd though. It's called the Whimsical Spin on Modern Spa Decor. Adds a pop of color and a peaceful touch to any room. It's kind of ugly, though. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm like, it's just odd. I don't know. I Let me know. I've, I've seen some comments about these, and it just seemed like an odd choice. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of mixed. Like, part of me is like, I like to think what I could do with um, different decor. And I'm like, I think I could make this work in a room, but it would have to be, um, I'd have to, like, really work on it. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't know. I go back and forth. Let me know what you think of that one. Um, some other ones that we have are the, um, I'm going to put up a screenshot right here. The Gold Botanical is beautiful. Again, you have to find a candle that would look nice, that would shine through that. Um, they've got Floral Gemstone. They've got Beaded Pedestal. And they've got the Ornate Heart Pedestal. That one is really pretty. I do like that one. Um, if you had like um, a red candle or a pink candle, I think that would look really pretty. Um, next up, we have two sold out ones. Um, you might be able to get these in stores. The vine leaf pedestal, which is a little taller. The dogwood, what, dog, dogwood, <laughs> I can't talk, dogwood pedestal. And then um, gold vines. Is that gold vines one? Not, that one's really pretty. I like the orange candle in that gold vines. And then Falling Snow, which I don't think anyone wants. <laughs> no Falling Snow. Um, then we have, this is another set. We have the Mixed Material Pedestal, which is kind of a raised one. That one I like, because that's going to display the design of the candle. Um, vine Leaf, I don't know about that one. Uh, the Basket Weave with Base. And then, of course, um, the Butterfly. Now, if you put those white barn candles in, you know, your candle holder, those are perfect because there's no design on them. So maybe the theory is we're supposed to use those plain white barn candles in those candle holders. I don't know. Um, I have one final um, group here. They are the geometric pedestal, the butterfly one. That's kind of cute with the little butterflies inside. I love butterflies. And then they have um, daisies, which looks like a throwback to like the Brady house. I'm like, oh my gosh, put an orange candle in there. And you got Carol Brady's Kitchen. <laughs> so I'm like, that one, I don't know if I love that one. <laughs> it's funny, as much as I love the Brady Bunch, um, they did use way too much, like, um, avocado green, orange, <laughs> and too many people were wearing, like, striped pants. <laughs> so I don't know about that. Um, that, that. That 70s decor, they won't watch when they uh, the Property Brothers redid uh, the Brady Bunch house. I was, like, glued to my TV for that. Um, it was fascinating, but I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to live in that house with the, the 70s decor. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you think of the new pedestals. Like I said, I do have some app rewards, so I'm thinking about ordering another one of these. Um, the only other thing new on the site I wanted to talk about today was the um, Magnolia Charm. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to put a screenshot up of the Magnolia Charm in the body cream. It's so funny that they released this um, like one piece at a time, literally. So now we have the whole collection, but look at how pretty, um, the black bottle is with the body cream. I'm thinking I probably need to get that for my mom because, um, she loves the Magnolia charm. So anyway, that's what I got for you. I will be back later today. I still have my, um, Dr. Squatch I got to do. And then I got a couple of other, um, cool things I want to talk about, uh, car fragrance. So I will be back later. See you later. Bye-bye.